4,331. That is the number of new COVID-19 cases in North Carolina in just the past 24 hours. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Rod Carter. And I'm Angela Taylor. That's the highest number of new daily cases in almost five months. It comes as state Republicans ask hospital CEOs to not require health care workers and staff to get vaccinated. CBS 17's Capitol reporter Michael Highland is live in Raleigh tonight. Michael, why do lawmakers want the hospitals to reconsider? All right, well, some of them are vaccinated themselves, but they don't think that someone should have to get the vaccine in order to keep their job. But the hospital administrators say this is a vital step to keep both the employees and the patients safe. After various hospitals in North Carolina announced plans to require employees get the COVID-19 vaccine. We need to decide what's best for our families. Some health care workers hit the streets in protest. It's not right. On Thursday, 55 Republicans in the State House of Representatives wrote a letter urging hospital executives to rethink their decision. They cite our reporting on staffing shortages some of them face. Is that a legitimate concern? It is a legitimate concern. We've had staffing challenges long before COVID. Cody Hand is with the North Carolina Health Care Association, which represents the state hospitals. He said they had to weigh that against the threat of COVID-19. It's important to us to make sure that if you come to a hospital for care, that you're not going to leave with a disease that we could have contained. Some private colleges in North Carolina and some major businesses like Walmart and Disney are also mandating the vaccine. Why in particular is it an issue at the hospitals that you all felt compelled to tell them reassess this? You know, honestly, I think any private business ought to ought to consider that. There are other concerns folks have about the va vaccine. The fact of number one that presently it's not FDA approved. The New York Times reported that full approval of the Pfizer vaccine could come as soon as next month. It is proven safe. The EUA is is a formality to get to that full approval. Do you drop your objection at that point to mandating the vaccine if it does get full approval? You know, I think I, what I want to do is continue to assess where we are. Getting the vaccine is a safe thing that folks should do. I have done it myself, but I am not prepared to mandate that to anyone else. The Healthcare Association told us they're trying to combat misinformation about the vaccine, even among some healthcare professionals. Duke recently told us 23% of their staff are not vaccinated, and they've given them until the 21st of September to do that. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News. All right.